Hey guys, what's going on? FaZe Echo or Andrew here bringing you guys a, another video. Today is going to be a video about how I get my high scores and basically the strategies that I use to get them. So first of all is, of course, you're going to want to use your best inch possible, which for me is my level 72 shock with my level, I think, 82, yep, 82 weapon. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go warp mode for score. So basically the general rule of thumb is classic mode is to basically farm silver and warp mode is to get high scores. And uh, I, apologize, I apologize if I say basically a lot. I know I do it and it's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Alright, so once you're into the warp mode, basically what you want to want to do, see there I go again, is buy lucky eggs. And the, what this is going to do is you're going to do this until you get quite a few orbs. Because you just saw back there, for 100 coins, I got a wind orb for 1,000. So basically, I just saved 900 coins. And so basically, you're just going to do this until you get something with a score bonus. So there's a critical plus 20%, but I don't really want that because critical doesn't really do too much. So we're just going to go here. And I would recommend having at least 10,000 silver, unfortunately, if you're going to want to go for a really good run. All right, so we're getting very unlucky. And there's five jades. There we go. So score plus ten percent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy the charge. So now we have one of every orb plus the ten percent score. All right, let's get into this, and I'll explain the basic strategies once I get up into the higher scores. So I will uh, see you guys there. All right. So a quick point that I wanted to uh, clarify here is that, as you can see, I am not using my special until I get to where whatever you want to call this, the horn or whatever to call your dragon, I only use it usually around here because this is where the difficult stages happen kind of thing. This is where the, the heavy obstacles are. So I usually try to save my special for times like this. So like right before us, because as you can see, my special just ran out and now I have my dragon, which will basically let me get my special again. So only use your special, don't be using your special every time you get it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save it until you really need it. So it's almost like a panic button, but not really. Because you don't want to be panicking because then that means you've lost control and it probably won't be a good run. So anyways, if I think of anything while I'm on my run, I will cut to it and I will let you guys know. Alright guys, so another thing that I was thinking about when I was doing my run is that you see right here I know that there's gonna be a lot of spikes with the uh, shurikens and they're gonna be flaming as well so I don't want to risk anything here I don't want to risk dying at an early stage so I'm just gonna use the special through it I know I probably shouldn't but I'm just gonna do it so back to what I wanted to go to originally was that so we are now over 20 members in the phase team which I didn't think was ever going to happen so now what I'm doing is I am making it a requirement you must have kick in order to join the team and the reason for this is because I'm soon gonna fill up with friend spots and we don't want people not knowing their high scores and things like that so kick is just a way so that I can see people's high scores so I can stay on top of uh, our roster and making sure that it is up to date alright so another big point that I'm going to point out is that you do not want to use any of these orbs that you see on the bottom with your person Basically what you want to do, and the main source of this, is that you want to wait until you die and you want to use the orbs on somebody better than your person. So when you originally die, the orbs carry over after you die. So basically I have a friend who is a level 120 shock and I'm basically going to hope that once I die that I can use him so that my orbs get more value if that makes sense. Alright, so this is getting around maybe where I may... Yeah, okay. So I died there. So as you can see, I have a Mike level 120 shock. So I'm going to pick him, and he's going to do his thing. So basically now, all of these orbs are going to be almost double what they should be, if that makes any sense, because my guy, the stats are only going to be so good, but with him, the stats are going to be better. So this is the main way that I get my high scores is I save the orbs until I get to somebody like this, somebody who's better than my character. 
and um, this is a little bit tricky, so I'm just going to see. So on here, it would only last five seconds. The sprint would only last five seconds for me, but on his shock, it lasts, I think, like 7.5 or some, some ridiculous number. So that's where I get my high scores, if that makes sense. This is really difficult. Holy shit. Okay. Anyway. So I'm going to end it here. I'm not going to do the full run, but you guys get the gist of it. So basically your main source of your high scores is going to be you want to save your orbs that you get at the beginning for somebody whose ninja is better. If it if it's mine, so be it. But you basically, yeah, so you want to save your orbs, use them on somebody who's better than yours so you get more out of them, and then basically just use your free video revives, all that good stuff to get through all of your ninjas, so, so on and so forth, and you'll eventually get a very high score. Alright guys, I hope this has helped, and I'm sorry that the commentary wasn't the greatest, but it's really hard to try to live commentate and play at the same time, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or any video suggestions that you want to give me, please comment below, I will be more than happy to answer them. You also know how to get to me on Facebook, on Twitter, and also you can add me on uh, Kick or Keek or however you want to say it if you have any questions or you want to join. Uh, again, to join the phase team for Speedy Ninja, it is now a requirement that you have Kick. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time.